Hello, hello ladies. Hello Deb. Let me see. Hello, oh, Beth, Faye, welcome. Oops, is that new stuff here? Welcome ladies, sorry. Ooh. Okay, let me share the video and I'll be right there. Cause I don't see myself. Oops, better refresh. How is everybody doing? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hope your week is going well. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Sharon. I'm glad you're here. Um, okay, let me just... Thank you for sharing. And let me move this. Hello, Melissa. Again, I see all the names here. Let me see if I can share more options. Boy, it's complicated. I'm going to share it to, my, to the group so other ladies can join us. Okay. Hello, Cynthia. Thank you for sharing, ladies. Thank you. Okay. Um, Kokie dokie. So it is, what day? Wednesday. Let's see if I get it right. September 15th. Yeah, time is flying. Time is really flying. Ooh, so tonight I have um, two cards for you. They're going to be on the messy side. One of them is going to be on the messy side. We'll have a technique. I'm going to play with the technique. And um, so I was going to show you one of the stem sets that are part of the um, celebration because we only have, what, two weeks left of celebration. So if you haven't gotten everything that you wanted from the mini mini celebration brochure, you better do it now because we have items that are already sold out. And the Bedazzle DSP, um, the paper, the one that I like, it's gone. It's sold out. As of today, it's not, they say on the system that is sold out. I hope they're going to get it back, but you never know because it, it is only, we have only two weeks left um, worth of, you know, the, the campaign. So, and they said that um, items were going to be while supplies last. So if you, as I said, if you have anything that you still have on your list and you want to get, you know, it's time for, this is the best time. The sooner, the better. Oh, my haircut. I didn't do anything. Because I'm going to go and get a haircut when I just got an appointment. Oh, the 28th, I think. Yeah, about two weeks. Oh, a week before the wedding. So, let's see. Hello, Debbie. Welcome. Hello, Chris. Hello, ladies. Okay, so let me start right away. Welcoming everybody. Welcoming everybody. And thank you for being here. Um, as usual, this is my weekly Wednesday Facebook Live. I come to you where and to show you two different projects. And you see my, okay, because you see my phone attachment there. Um, and um, if you want to invite your friends, please have them join you. I see new faces. Please let me know where you're coming from, okay? Where you're tuning in from. And just to, for those of you that are new, like I see Deb, welcome Deb. Make sure that you let me know where you're coming from, where you're watching from. No, you're, you're not coming. You're just watching. But um, as you know, I like to uh, give out little prizes and all the projects that I'm doing tonight they're going to go home to somebody, okay? And so you need to stick around until the end to be entered into the drawing for those uh, projects. And if you are did sh uh, share my video the, for this, the past week, your name went into the name of wheels and I got um, a winner that I'm going to announce and then I'm going to show you when I switch the phone what is the prize for the following week and reminding everybody what is my monthly prize that I give away. Okay, so let me just switch everything and um, let's start with the show because it's already 
yeah let's go so tonight you're gonna have a sticker that is red or oh, pink hot pink look at that hot pink so i'm going oh thank you faye dot is your friend thank you thank you okay let me just hook this phone and then plug it in because you never know and let's see i'm gonna go get my chair because you know that i'm what what did we say that i am vertically challenged so i need to stand on my chair <laughs> and look at what's going on here so let me see if the view is the right view i don't know what you're looking at oh there you go you were looking at my thing hello pam hello everybody hello Kay. welcome welcome okay where's my plug i'm gonna plug in my phone and hopefully nobody's gonna call me tonight and yes it's happy birthday to elise welcome elise hopefully you got to celebrate your day with cake and everything okay okay so let me show you what who won the prize from sharing for sharing for last week remember this is the don't remember the name of the designer series paper now old world i think and i am including some of the paper in one two three four cards made with it because everything is retired and i have paper left over so and i know myself i know that i'm not gonna use it so i want people to be able to work with it and the winner is mackenzie i don't know if mackenzie is watching or not but she's the winner i think she's in school uh she's taking classes so there you go so this is for mackenzie then i'm gonna show you what the will be the prize for next week for shares that will go from tonight until the 21st and this is some of the artistically whatever designer series paper and i have two cards in there and also and also the specialty paper that went with it i have a few sheets in there too as well and so make sure that you do your sharing and make sure to post them here okay but this is what is gonna go then if tonight we're going this is the number we have 20 at least 25 people watching so you better go get your friends i'm giving away a dark oh a light mossy meadow um stamping blend and a mossy meadow um ribbon it was in last year's um holiday catalog mini catalog so i'm giving this away because it coordinates and so if we get to as i said 25 or over then i'm going to give away this prize okay i gotta raise the the i'm gonna give you out more but i gotta raise the number okay so invite your friends and i'm sure that we have people watching right now so just don't be lurking make sure you make it do a comment and let me know where you're watching from okay okay also you know that i do a drawing if in between those all the ladies that have done shares that i put shares at the end of the month so this is the stamp set that i'm giving away and it's seasons of fun it is in a um, hostess exclusive stamp set in order to get this one you need to have an order or uh have a workshop party whatever with a combined sales of 150 dollars or more and during celebration it's worth to get uh, to do a party because with your order of or combined sales of three hundred dollars you get to choose no you get automatically this stamp set this is exclusive it's only going to be available and um this is was designed so what stamping up did they posted on a um, facebook group and asked as um, demonstrator to chime in with you know whatever greetings they they thought that they, we needed and so they chose uh, i think we have one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight no duh, ten 
Okay, I'm counting, but it says right here. So 10 different greetings in this stamp set. And this is exclusive that you get with a $300 um, workshop, okay? Um, there's still time, so if you're interested, contact me. We can do it in person in my studio, or we can do it on Facebook or via Zoom. There are different ways that we can do this, okay? But think about it quickly because time is running out. Okay, I told you everything. I mentioned the fact that until September 30th, we have celebration. And so all of these, this is... As of right now, it's not orderable, orderable, whatever you want to uh, call it. So um, I don't know if that means that it's gone, but I was reading uh, comments and stuff. I haven't called the company, but for what I'm, I saw posted, they were saying that it's sold out. Okay. Uh, but there are many, many, many more um, other stuff that you can get for free and tonight we're going to play again with a beautiful penned designer series paper 12 by 12 it's black and white you'll see what we're going to do and i am using the feels like home stamp set um that um i'm going to show you there's going to be a little bit of a coloring and a little bit of a mess okay but yes as i was saying this is beautiful. And what I like is the fact that you can use this, um, the designer series paper. In this case, you can use it for Christmas cards, but also for other cards because the patterns, um, they're not only for Christmas. Okay. And then County Sheep, Stamp Set, and the dies. I have yet to play with those, but I will do it. I've seen so many beautiful um, samples with the textures and frames. I thought that I was like, no, I don't like it, but yeah. It is pretty cool as far as this stamp set. And it's photopolymer. And this is the uh, Summer Shadow dies. But you have to have a uh, purchase of $100 or more to get these for free. This and as well as the Delicate Dahlias. Yes, I will be coloring. But, um, but, but I'm, you know, you know me. I'm not a, perf a perfectionist as far as coloring, okay? Let me see the comments here. Um, um, Sandy lost my feed. I hope you're coming back. Yeah, you're back. And then Rita just tried to order and then said discontinued. So, yeah. Sandy, you need to get out, refresh, and come back in, okay? Because everybody else is here, so I think it's on your end. Uh, but anyways, you can watch the replay. Thank you for being here, Sandy. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so... For those of you that do not know me, this is Monica Giberti with Stamping with Monica, and I'm located in Stafford, Virginia, and have been stamping up the mustard for what I say over 18 years, and I love it. And every day it's even better because I get to meet um, beautiful people, and I have beautiful people in my life thanks to stamping up. So that is one of the main reasons that. Um, well, one of the best, well, two, two good reasons to join uh, Stamping Up, and especially right now. One's because you get, you become part of a community. You get to meet lovely ladies. Um, I've seen lots of friendships develop um, throughout the years in my studio and also, you know, thanks to Stamping Up. And also because you get to enjoy a discount. We are all happy discount shoppers. Stamping Up is offering 20% discount. So if you have a list that is over $100 in value, the best deal right now until September 30th is to um, join Stamping Up. I didn't say become a demonstrator. I said join Stamping Up, get your starter kit, you pay $99 plus tax, but you can select up to $125 in merchandise and pay only $99 plus tax. That for us here in Virginia is comes out to be a little bit over $104. But you select up to $125 plus Stamping Up is giving you a free bundle that is 
here and I can show it to you to you when I'm going to open the book. Um, on top of the fact that you're saving shipping and you're uh, saving $26. That is the difference between $99 and $125. And you get a box of paper pumpkin. You get uh, business supplies, catalogs that you can use, not use, set aside, give it to your friend, do whatever you want. You don't have to do anything that I do. You don't have to do anything at all. Start with getting that beautiful, beautiful starter kit that you can customize and then go from there. You will decide what you want to do with it, okay? But I'm telling you, if you have a long list, this is the best time. Yes. Oh, Erin is making the comment, too happy of a discount shopper. That's me, she says. Ah, it's me as well because, you know, I see stuff and I buy it because I like it. Okay, so let me just go over here. As usual, I am giving out my host code for the month. This is for until the end of September. And then I will start a new, a new host code in October. And I collect orders under this host code. And that's how I can send out gifts to my loyal customers and... Um, to thank them okay but this is my host code just in case you see something that you would like to order and share and comment share you get into the drawing the weekly drawing or the monthly drawing the comment gets you inside the draw uh, get you into the drawing for the cards that i'm gonna make tonight okay if you're a stamping uh, a paper pumpkin subscribers or subscriber or not but I'm just going to show... I think this is a hint. Okay? I just got this. Thank you for sharing, Pam. Thank you. Um, I This is the hint, I think, because this, we know that we're going to get... This is the paper pumpkin that um, Stampin' Up! just mailed out. Um, so this is, this is September. Then we got notice just of this, that this is going to be for the October. And listen, I have this picture right here. I think this will be for the November one. So if you have not subscribed to uh, Paper Pumpkin or you want to get into this, for this one, you're already too late because subscription ended on September 10th. But now you can get into this one and the following one. So you can do a monthly subscription or you can do a prepaid subscription of one month, three months, six or 12. The higher you subscribe, the more you you save and during celebration uh, because this counts as if you do a prepaid subscri subscription uh, it counts as a sales or as a purchase so you also get the benefit of celebration and choosing one item or two or three whatever depending because with a um, monthly the annual subscription um, it's over two hundred dollars so you get at least four um, uh, celebration items but something to think about it if you're not uh, if you're not a subscriber yet think about it and let me know just contact me okay okay ladies that was enough I think I'm gonna wall I'm gonna show you also I'm gonna talk to you about my upcoming crafty club kit and just for just a little bit of a sample as I said I was going I'm basing my design on the pretty pumpkins um, stamp set or bundle depending on you but in order to recreate the projects that I design you will have to have the pretty pumpkins and the dies because um, I will not die cut anything that needs to be pre-stamped by stamping up rolls and so and so this is what I'm going to um, focus my design on. And this is just a sample that I put together. But this is not, this isn't going to be one of the cards. I just took whatever was in the back of the catalog and I made it my own, similar to it. I need to add more stuff. Um, but this is um, what I'm going to focus the Crafty Club. Okay? There you go. So you have until the 20th of this month to let me know if you want to 
get into this month crafty club and if you decide that you want to stick around for six consecutive months then at the end of the sixth month i'll contact you and say hey um you have um subscribed or register for the class for six consecutive months choose whatever you would like um from the catalogs there are current catalogs for up to 25 dollars, and that will be my gift for you um, because you're part of the club so called okay then i'm gonna show you something okay tonight i said that we're going to focus on the fields like home and the 12 by 12 beautifully penned designer series paper i think i'm using two different patterns from the one that i used last week so we're going to start. This is a one of the items that you can get for free with a $50 purchase from the Celebration brochure. It is a cling stamp set. And I don't know why, but I got two set of in my in my stamp set, I got two set of stickers. I guess they just went in. They were in a hurry packaging it up. But this is that. Okay. Now, let's start with the first card, um, let's start with the easy one. One of the easy one, because there's a lot of a lot of coloring, okay. But I'm using the Stamparatus because you know that I love it. Okay, I'm not gonna show you the final project, but I'm, we're gonna use this one to start with, and I am going to take out all my supplies uh, for this card. And here we go. So we're starting with a car base. So I'm giving you the measurements. This is um, Smoky Slate. And it is five and a half by eight and a half scored in half. Four and a fourth. Okay. Like that. Then I took a piece of, this is Bermuda Bay. That measures two and a half by five and a half. Because this is going to go like so. And I ran it through. Oh, this is a little bit more. Let me see. Let me measure this one. Because I might have cut it. Let me get my cutter. Because sometimes when I cut, I cut extra. Where's my cutter? Well, let me use my big cutter to make it faster. To make it faster. Let me measure it, ladies. Because I think I went over. Oh, yeah. You need a little bit of a trim. Now it is five and a half. But this is how it's going to go. I ran it through the mortar, brick and mortar embossing folder right here. See, I put here used with blue plate when we had the old uh, Big Shot. It needed this, but now we have a great plate for the new die cutting machine. So this is going to go like so. And we're going, so I'm going to build this because I'm not doing anything to the cart base. So I can put it together. And actually, I'm going to put this piece. This is rear red and measures uh, three fourths of an inch by five and a half. Oops. And it's going to go like so. Okay. And we're going to glue it down. Very simple and easy. And it's going to go down here. Simple. Okay, I'm not on focus. Um, I mean, I don't know what you're looking at, but I don't see. Oh, there you go. You can see better. So this is what I'm going to do right there. Then I'm taking a um, piece of white baker's twine. And it's part of the... Um, essential pack of baker's twine that we have in the main catalog and i'm going to tie a bow and this bow will be temporarily be temporary because i will have to move it once i have you know i'm putting the card together but i'm building it this way okay and it really doesn't matter where you tie your bow because you can always do like so okay and then 
I can modify it, change it, or slide it. And I'm going to use, what did I use? I think I'm going to, yeah. Like so. And now I'm going to glue it flat. To my car base okay and then we're gonna start stamping and cutting and coloring in me okay so this is gonna go down here like so stick it down and voila this part is done hmm. let me just get this lady because I have a little bit of a adhesive here and I'm gonna clean it so nothing sticks to it because I don't have my other tool so this part is done now this is a piece of shimmery white I don't know if you can see the shimmer of it okay it does shimmer but I don't know if you can see it now I'm going to take my stamp apparatus. I already placed this one. I want to clean it. Hold on. I need to go. I forgot a napkin. I'll be right there. And I'm back. Because I want to clean this, but I also will need it for the watercolor. Okay. So this is going to go right here because that's how I measured it okay and because if you don't have a stamp apparatus ladies it's time for you to get it okay I'm gonna put this one underneath because I don't want to force the hinges I'm gonna take my memento ink and I'm going to ink my stamp do you see how it is it, you're not hurting the hinges yet I mean, doing so. And here we go. Let's see. I think this is the way. If not, I'm going to flip it over. Um, nope. Let me see something. Yeah, this was. Okay. Forget about it. There, yes. So I like that the fact that this is double sided. So you can use the other side like I just did. Okay. So let me ink this one clean here because I saw that I had a little bit of extra. And then we're going to stamp. Did I do the same stuff? I think I did it. So it was meant to be that way. Mm, yeah, I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to repeat it. Because I think I, I positioned it this way it was before. Duh. And I'm going to ink it again because I need to have it more prominent, the color. I want it to be pretty dark. Okie dokie, a little bit more, a tiny bit, let's see if it works, voila, that's why I love the Stamparatus, because it can go back and forth, back and forth, and re-ink it, if you don't, if you don't think that it's going to be, uh, what you may call it, dark enough, I'm going to clean it, because then after this, the next card, I need to measure it. But I'm going to leave it like so. Okay, so now that I have this, because I am watercoloring, I did not choose to use the regular basic white because it's going to peel out. So I'm going to take all my colors and see if I can do something decent in front of you. If I don't mess it up. Okay, to do so, I'm going to use, where did I put my watercolors? All of them. So I'm using these. 
but I cheated a bit because I'm gonna go with this first. I cheated because I'm also using some um, of the Stampin' Blend. And for this one, I decided that it was better. Actually, I went over it and then I did not like it. So I went over it with this. Okay, so I am coloring here. Around here. Okay. This is easy peasy with your stamping blend. If you don't have him, you can use whatever to watercolor. You can use um, ink pads. You can use this one. I need to color it inside. There. And I did this in my sample. Because, you know, do I remember what I do? Not really. There you go. Mm, I like it. There, there, there. And now let's watercolor. So I'm going to start with my old olive. Okay. And I'm going to take my... These are the water painters. We have three different tips. I'm using the fine tips here, tip here. And I'm going to put a little bit of water there. And start watercoloring. Going over quick without thinking too much because I am not a color thinker when I watercolor I just go over and then depending how dark or how light you want your color then you can go over and over okay so now I'm gonna go like so quick and easy color okay and if you go outside it's fine because it's called watercolor that is what's supposed to be looking like what did I do here this and I like the fine tip because you can go in small places but because this you don't have to worry about too much. Just put the color where it's supposed to be. And that's all. What did I do in this one? Because I forget. There. And that's it, I think. A little bit of a green there. More. More green. And using the um, this type of paper, you can go over with a little bit more of uh, water or so okay I think I did all my green for this one and then you just clean it on your little tape there I think no more green I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna do this that is my real red and I'm gonna do my because it was too small the seat of the chair of the bicycle and then I'm gonna go with cinnamon cider. So this is the old style. If you have the new style of the pa pads, you need to squeeze a little bit harder in order to have the ink transfer to there. And same. Okay. And then I'm gonna go with here. You know, it is whatever you think. Voila. And I have this one to do. See, I don't have a lot of water there, so I'm going to squeeze it. And I'm an, I am not a perfectionist as far as coloring, okay? I am not at all. Okay. Clean the tip right here. I think I'm done with that. 
put it away. I'm going to go with, I think I did soft suede for just, and I don't want it too, too wet because I want to go and color the trunk, whatever you want to call these. Okay. There. Done. Okay. And now I think I did, I cheated right here. Mm, I'm going to go with my, see, this is a combination of blends and watercolor. And I'm going to go with these flowers right here. And there's really not too much to think about it because you just color. Okay. This I think I did red because I was balancing the colors from one side to the other. Okie dokie. And then I'm taking my Sahara sand and I can watercolor with that. And I'm going to do my blend mackenzie watercolor i use once wet and once dry yes you can do that these are there are different ways of watercoloring you can use your ink pads or you can use the watercolor pencils and then color with those and then go over either with your with a brush like this or our blender pens those are the ones that you want to use with especially with uh, watercolor pencils. Okay, I think this is done. Yep, and now let's see if I can be messy or not. I don't remember what I did use. Oh, yes, I know what I did use. So now I'm gonna squeeze Coastal Cabana, oops, gentle, not too hard, and then water in this one. And that will be my my door. Just need to pay attention not to color the bicycle right there. So go around this. I could have used the bigger, but here we go. And I thought I saw that I left some white there. I want it darker or more, then I can go over. Okay. And I'm done with this. Let me just touch here. I don't want to see any of the white there and I left this one there okie dokie that part is done and now one last one not one last at least with the, the finer tip this is the finer and I'm going to squeeze again because I want. And with this, I'm going to go here. As you can see, there's not much of thinking. Just go with it. And then here, just put a little bit of in between can be darker no darker see anybody can watercolor not only professionals and voila just water it down a bit and you're done okay i think i'm gonna leave it like so and now last touch i'm gonna get my pool party squeeze it get my wide brush 
put a lot of water in there. Let's see, because I should have, I think I have water. Yeah. Okay. And now on top of this, so otherwise I will make a mess on my surface, I'm going to brush my sky and look <laughs> anybody can be a perfect watercolor when you have the right tools okay done I am done with my coloring and I'm going to show it to you because I and I am not going to do anything that that's it this is my watercolor <laughs> ladies okay there's nothing fancy dandy about it can you see it there you go so that part is done you can put it away now I'm going to I can even um, dry this quickly so it stays down flat. And voila, this part is done. Let me build my card. Okay, so now I have a piece of the designer series paper that measures, so this is three by four, and this is three and a fourth by four and, four and a fourth. And I'm going to put it down, you know me, crooked. It's gonna go like so, and I'm gonna use this time. What did I use with mine? Um, did I do dimensionals? No, but I'm gonna do dimensionals. No, actually, I'm gonna put adhesive here, a bunch just in the middle because that's where it's going to be attached and it's going to be like so then I'm going to fix all my bows here and then I'm going to take this little thing here I'm going to put my dimensionals four and one in the middle then we're going to stamp what paper do you watercolor onto uh, no, this is um, the shimmery white car stock. As you can see, it does shimmer a bit. Maybe you can see it. But it's the shimmery white because it's a little bit thicker, but also it doesn't seep through. So you can use, when you do watercolor, you can use the thick um, car stock that we have. You can use watercolor paper. You can use the shimmery white paper. Um, what else? And that's it because the, the regular, the basic white, I think it will pill. This one, you know, it has water, but it did not pill. Now I'm going to stamp, grab my stamp set and show you that has beautiful sentiment. And I'm gonna use, I can't thank you enough. Also because I think we have a, uh, for my next meeting, team meeting, I'm covering my thing because we have to do something that is thankful. Erin, uh, we sell it. Uh, we sell, Stampin' Up! sells the, uh, wisp, the shimmery white car stock. If you look at the page where you have all the papers, um, it's there. Okay, so I'm going to ink and then we're going to trim it. Let's see, hopefully I'm going to be straight. Not really. What happened? Here we go again. Stamping always twice, so I got to go straight. This has to be happy. Let's see. Okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. And because I need also trim to trim it. Because I don't want it to be that 
Mm. I'm going to trim it a bit. Okay. Not that I like it. I am not liking it. I'm sorry, ladies. I got to restamp this sentiment, this thing, because it keeps on being crooked. And I don't know why. Let's see if it, now it's better. Still, it goes downhill, but that's okay. So let's pretend that we stamped it straight. I think it is. It's just my eyes, probably. Okay. And then I could trim it a bit, the one on the top, just a tiny bit. Whoa, ladies, I don't know what's going on tonight. Hold on. Because this lady is cannot stamp tonight to save her life. Okay, here we go. These are a little bit thinner, so it's better. Look, so I'm going to keep it the way it is. I'm not going to touch it anymore because I... <laughs> yeah. No, it's me. See, the stamp is not mounted. Crooked is the stamp. It's me. It is me. How did I stamp this? Because I got a too high over there, ladies. What is my fourth time? No, it's crooked. Should I use the stamp apparatus? Question mark. It's me. Oh my golly. Let's pretend that I've stamped the sentiment and finish it that way, right? Shoot, I gotta do the other card. When something is not working, it's not gonna work. Okay, let's pretend it. I'm gonna fix it. This is gonna go right here. <laughs> and please know that whoever's gonna win this is gonna get the right one, cause Lord knows I'm going to stamp it straight because I'm going to use my Stamparatus. Okay, so this card is done like so. I can't thank you enough. Okay, and the only thing that I changed, I used the white Baker's Twine instead of the black. Okay, so one lady is going to get the black. The other one is going to get the white. Yes, I will use the Stamparatus to fix it. Okay, so these are the two cards. Number one. Okay, let's get messy now. Really messy. We're not going to use the watercolor painters. They're not watercolor painters. The water painters. I'm going to clean them, put them away, because with the other card, we're going to do something different. And you will see. You'll be like, what? It is a another way of stamping with your blocks. Okay, let me clean everything right here and put it away. Put these away and off we go. Okay, for the next card, we're going with black and yellow because I think they go way, very well with the paper. And I'm using this... Um, this pattern from the same pack of 12 by 12 and still using the same stamp set okay this is a piece of basic black four and a fourth by 11 scored in half at five and a half hello okay so this is that easy peasy then i ran the um this is crushed curry car stock and I ran it through this embossing folder okay ran it through with the machine and this is gonna go like so this is a very simple layout very simple so I'm going to attach this to my card base 
like so. I like the contrast of black and yellow tones. Then I cut a piece of this I use paper that measures two and a fourth. I think it's by five and a fourth. And then I punched it out with the Taylor Tech Punch to do my tails. Simple and easy. It's my fault. Whose fault? Okay, and then this goes on my card. Simple and easy. Okay. Because for this one, I didn't have to do much. Okay, so this is my base. Voila. And then you know me, I like to do so. And ladies, now here we go with the messy part. I have a piece of vellum and I have a piece of basic white. They are the same size for this designing purpose and it is two and three, two and five eighths by three and seven eight. But you can make it whatever side, size you want. I want it to be able to fit into the largest of the dies from the sweet, the stitch so sweetly dies. I want it to fit in this one. So that's my measurements, okay? Because by doing so, you can see that I have the same edging all around, okay? But I am working on the vellum. So let me grab a piece of, of my um, working paper that is already messy so I can mess it all up even more because I like to keep this one clean, save this one. And here we go. I'm going to take a block, okay? I'm going to take my pool party and my crumb cake pad. I'm going to take a container that has alcohol, one of our spritzers, um, and I'm using the 91 and above percent of alcohol. This is basically the same one that you would use to do the, um, the alcohol blend technique. Remember that I showed it to you, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the lightest of the two colors and I'm going to apply my color on here. Okay, go with the light and then I'm going with the other one and I'm going down like so. Okay, you probably have seen this one, this technique. Um, and probably, but I'm using this, I'm using this. Now, remember there's alcohol in here move everything away and we're gonna spray okay then I'm taking my vellum I'm breathing on my and then I'm flipping this and then I'm doing this can you see what I'm doing And this one, I probably put too much water, but we're gonna keep it. Not water, but alcohol. In my sample, I sprayed a little bit less. Okay. Then I'm going to take, ah, did I mess it up? No, okay, good. Then I'm going to take my heat tool. The block is a size E. That's the E size. But you can use whichever side block, depending on the size of your paper. And I'm going to dry it. Voila, 
it is dry okay now I'm gonna go back to my stamparatus and see if now it is positioned the way I want it we're gonna play with this I'm gonna put my paper um, yep let me see yeah I'm I'm within there and there so I'm going to secure this and now I'm gonna stamp let me grab this one and put it underneath and I'm going to stamp on it same edge image and I'm gonna go over more than once without this okay let's see yeah I need to go over more the colors on the vellum makes me think of the beach yeah I wish I was at the beach I was looking at the weather and oh boy it's beautiful weather to be at the beach but who can go to the beach not me it's more wedding preparation this Sunday we're gonna work on more stuff okay let me see I want it one more okay let's see if because I want it a bit dark And yep, that's what I want it. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna clean this. Let's see who are the lucky ladies tonight to take home these two projects. It would be nice to see if any of you want to replicate them or do something similar and post it. So, you know, using these techniques, the watercolor technique or this so I'm taking my vellum and because when you stamp on vellum it doesn't dry the ink doesn't dry right away we're gonna take our heat tool and dry it out without burning yourself and you can see a little bit against the light when everything dries out. So it doesn't smudge. Okay. Hello, Christine. We tried to make your card. This might be a stretch. No, you can do it. There's nothing difficult about it. Just remember the steps. So I've stamped, okay? Now, I'm going to use this one. No, I don't think. Yeah, I can do this. Now, I'm going to use blends. And I'm going to just partial color some of the items here just to give them a little bit of a pop of a color. So I'm going to go with these flowers. These now are all flowers because they're going to be all red. Okay. And then I did these flowers right here. Balancing all the colors. If I can see what I'm doing. Be nice. Hopefully you don't see my head. Okay, did I color all of it? And then I'm also doing this, but I don't know if I... There. I need to move it this way. And like so. Okay, then I'm taking my... Um, this is the Dark Daffodil Delight. 
okay? How many people do we have? 18. I don't think I'm going to give away anything tonight for the viewers. Invite your friends, ladies. Okay. Done. Done. What else did I color? That's it. Okay, and you can go over and make it darker if you like. Like so. Okay, so this is done. Now, I'm going to take my white and I'm going to put it on. Okay, that is that. You see it? So, to do so, I'm going to put a bit of adhesive here and a bit there. Attach it to this. Okay. That is done. Simple and easy. This card, the, the layout is very simple because you have um, a technique to, to focus on. So, you don't want to use a difficult fold or complicated fold or something that will take you more time if you're doing a technique. And then this one is going to be laid on this, like so. Okay. And then this is going to be like so. This is very simple. Okay. And did I do... Yes, of course, I did dimensionals. Why am I questioning it? I should know myself, right? Okay, dimensionals. And this goes like so. Voila. So the base of the card is done. Now, oop, I lost I lost my embellishment. Did I lose my embellishments? Oh no, they're here. So let me put my embellishments on to, before I do anything else. This goes like so, and we're not done. I need a sentiment. Okay, but I'm going to put those on because... Now, as far as the sentiment, this time I hope it's going to be easier. I'm going to take my black. I'm going to be inking my sentiment that says... Your friendship feels like home to me. And I am going to stamp it like so. No, it doesn't fit. Voila. I'm going to trim it down. And we are done with this card. Okay. If I could find... I had my cutter right here. Where did I put it? I mean, let me just use the other one. Oh, here it is. This place was in order today, but not now. So we're going to trim there, and then we're going to trim right there. Hopefully it is straight. Okay, a little bit more here. Yeah, and then I'm going to use my scissors because I need more. And it's easier if it is just a little bit. Done. Done. Okay. Now I'm going to take one dimensional. And the card is done -o. The card is done. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. And this one is going to go like so. Yep. Over there. That's it. This is my card. Simple and easy. And this is the other one. Now you can see that it all depends. This is a little bit more... Um, the colors are darker because I spritz less. I put less um, alcohol when I spritz it. 
and this one is a little bit lighter. This is the one that I did now. This is the one that I did before that you can color, you could do whatever. What do you think? Was it cool or no? Something that you learned or not? Okay, so these are the cards for tonight. And you guys, you know what to do. So make a comment. I don't think we ever got to 20, right? So one, two, and these are the other ones. Three and four. Okay, so these are the cards for tonight. Let me see if they're out of, in the focus. Clean everything. Let's clean up so you see only the cards. And four lucky ladies will win the cards. The one that I need to fix is this one. Okay, so now let me copy as usual the URL. I will look at the comments. Let's see first if I can see comments like subtly on the vellum color. Let me see. Thank you for sharing, Melissa. Welcome, Christine. Okay, this you can make it, Erin. It's easy peasy. It might take a little bit. Um, and you remember on the vellum, I used, um, my ink pads. I tried with the blends to put the color on the, on the block coloring with the blends. It was not the same. So the, using the ink pads, it's better. And you can do it either with alcohol or regular water. But with, um, stamping it on the vellum, I think is, you could do water on the, on, on direct on the car stock directly but if you do on the vellum you want to use the the alcohol because it's going to dry right away okay um i'm gonna copy my url right here so lady it's time to decide who the winners are for these cards so let me just there and remember okay because we did not get to 20 we're not gonna have winners for that i'm gonna save that for next week okay let me grab my phone so you can see what's going on okay and we're going to start and here we go oh get me comments how many comments did we get tonight 142 i guess that was boring we didn't have much, uh, many, too many um, comments tonight. Or maybe you were interested. Oh, Erin, you are the winner of this card, card number one, the one with the alcohol technique. There you go. So you can try at a home. Congratulations, Erin. Let me write it down if I can find a pencil. Oh boy, where did I put my pencil? It'd be nice to find it. Mm -hmm. Hate when I do that. I had it right here. Oh, let me write it on the sticky note. Let me write it on the sticky note. So the first one, you were concentrated. Okay, so Aaron is the first winner. Let me go and get a new winner. Pick another winner. And let's start and see who's the other winner. Deb, Deb is always, 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 I would have to say always. Deb is going to get this card, the watercolor card, okay? And then I'm going to, Deb already wrote her name, and let's pick another winner and see who the other one is. Something, somebody different. I just said it. <laughs> Deb, I'm sorry. We're going to find, get another winner. And Beth. Beth is the third winner. And Beth is getting the alcohol card. Okay. Congratulations. And I wrote her down, put her name down. And let's see who the last winner is. Pam, are you there, Pam? 
Pam is the winner of this card right here. Okay, that's it. Let me just flip this phone and thank everybody for being here, for watching. Hopefully it was something that um, you found interesting, that you learned something. I had fun playing with the, the ink. It's a little messy, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, I forgot to remind you that I have a class. I'm starting my um, Christmas card series classes. And um, the first um, class would be on October 2nd. I'm going to run it in October, November, and December. This year is going to be different. Instead of making six cards and a little treat holder, it would be... Um, a stamp a stack you will make 10 cards okay so and i'm using mm, i forgot to uh, show it to you but i'm using where's the stamp set oh i lost it but anyways i'm using the stamp set right here i don't know if it is crooked or not i mean this is the stamp set that i'm using stamp set let me move turn around like so so you don't see this is the stamp set that you'll be um, that I'm using. It's photopolymer, and this is the bundle that goes with that. That has um, stamping the the embossing folder and the dies. But I'm gonna show you maybe do a video before that how the two work together. It's cool. So yeah, holy moly, there's a lot a lot of cards. Yes, 10 cards. You make five. Uh, there will be five designs. You will make two of each. So what I suggest, obviously, it will be a little bit of a longer because of um, time frame. But I suggest you stamp everything, put together five cards. So you don't have to put together 10 cards, but just five. And then you finish the rest at home if time is on running out. I am, you know, putting time down. Um, I mean, I cannot say, okay, stay here until you're done because some people might take, you know, hours and hours and hours. So it is two from two to four. I will allow maybe an extra half an hour or so. So in those two hours, you should be able to put together the stamp for the 10 cards and put five together, okay? Because most of the stuff, it will be done by me, like embossing, die cutting, whatever is not decided, you know, it's not, um, needs to be stamped before. The class is also to go. So you can choose to to get the stamp. The, um, yes, Christine, you'll have to spend the night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, if you'll have to make all of them. Um, but you can also choose the class to go. For those that are long distance, um, you can choose to add the stamp set to it if you want to as an extra. I put all the price, the pricing in my email that I sent out today or yesterday. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so the minimum is $35 and it includes a goodie bag of supplies. And um, then you go higher. But if you choose to add either the stamp set just the stamp set or the stamp set and the in the bundle you can you will get it at cost. I'm not charging you shipping or tax on the stamp set and or the bundle. Okay? So that is all that I wanted to let you know. I will see some of you this Saturday for Anne's um private car class. If you haven't sent the registration, please send it in so I know exactly who's coming. And you have time until tomorrow. And in the meantime, I thank you everybody for being here watching. And hopefully tonight it was something that um, would help you expand your horizon of, I don't know, crafting. Try something new and messy. Okay, ladies, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Ciao.